Hello, today we're going to do 2014 GCO level physics practical. As I always say, there are two parts to all the practicals. Uh, we have to start with the PE preparation before we execute it. So let's start with the preparation. Now, in all experiment, first of all, we have to take a look at the experiment that was set up. Page two of your experiment, you will always see the entire setup. So bring it close to you, compare the diagram in the paper together with the diagram, to, together with the setup that was given over here. And here says that this is the string, and this is the top clamp, this is the bottom clamp. This is the curly L, which is all the way from the split cord here, all the way to your bottom clamp. And the capital letter L is from the split cord here, this portion, all the way down to the ball. And X is this portion from the bottom clamp all the way to the ball. So now let's read the questions. Part A says, set out the apparatus as shown in figure 1.1. Adjust length L so that it's between 49 and 50 cm. Length L is actually this length from all the way from here, which is the bottom of the clamp, all the way down to the bob here. And this is done by loosening the top of the clamp and moving the string through the split cord up and down as required. As you can see, this is the split cord, this is the string. You can adjust the length here by moving up and down. It says here, tighten the clamp and do not adjust L again during the experiment. Measure and record the value of L to the nearest 0.1 cm. So I'm going to use the meter rule, place it right in front over here, and measure the length of L. They say that it is in between 49.0 cm and 50.0 cm. So this is the bottom of the, this is the middle portion of your bob, all the way up. So let me adjust this to make sure that it's about the 50 mark. Fifty mark over here, all the way down to this portion. Yep, I have adjusted it. And let me record the reading. It says here to the nearest 0.1 cm. So it should be 50.0. So let's take note of the decimal place that was given. And let's move on to the third page. The third page here says that all legs are to be recorded to the nearest 0.1 cm. Now before we do that and collect all the reading, let's go back to the table which is on page 4. Page 4 shows all the different values to be collected and here says all legs are to be recorded to the nearest, nearest 0.1 cm. So on top of the table here, I will write down a note 0.1 cm so that I will remind myself that every single reading that I'm taking today, I need to bear in mind the one decimal place here. Over here, it says give your answer to square root of x to the nearest 0.1 cm. So I have written down here as well 0.1 cm. And then let's go on. It says here that adjust the bottom clamp up and down until L is between 38.5 and 39.5 cm. So which means that my curly L, which is this portion from the bottom of the, of the split cord here all the way down to the bottom clamp here, it must be between 38.5 cm and 39.5 cm. So let me use the meter rule, place it right in front over here. Yep, it is 38.5 cm. So, and it goes on to say, ensure that the rod at the bottom clamp is horizontal and that it just touches the string. This is the string and my string must be touching the bottom of my clamp here, which is exactly what I've done here. Tighten the clamp, measure and record the value of L to the nearest 0 by 1 cm in table 1.1. I've already done all the recording over here. I wrote 0 by 1 cm to remind myself. And they say that curly L is measured from the bottom of the speed cord to the center of the rod on the bottom clamp, which is from here all the way up to here. Move the bar 5 to 10 cm from a vertical position away from the rod as shown in figure 1.2 and release it. So I'm supposed to uh, estimate to move this bar around 5 to 10 cm away from the vertical position. So here is 5 cm is around here, 5 to 10 is around here. So this is an estimation and I will release it. And then it goes on to say that 
When the string touches the rod, start the stopwatch. The next time the string touches the rod, count this as, the, as touch number one. And continue to count each time the string touches the rod. Stop the stopwatch at touch number 10. So basically, we are counting 10 periods here. This is the time for 10 complete cycles of the pendulum. Part 5 here says, read and record the time T1 to the nearest 0.01 seconds. In table 1.1, so table 1.1, T1 seconds here. Let me write 0 0.01 seconds, 0 0.01 seconds, 0 0.01 seconds. So 0 0.01 seconds as well. We have to repeat instruction 2 all the way to instruction 4 and record the value of the time T2 in table 1.1. So for every single reading here, we have to repeat, count, uh, repeat the, the reading twice. So, and then it goes on to say, adjust the position of the bottom clamp so that length L is now between 32.5 cm and 33.5 cm. Now, with this portion, we can see from the table of the range LCM that 38.5 cm to 32.5 cm to 26.5 cm to 20.5 cm, there is a difference of 6 cm. Basically, all the readings are taken with a gap of 6 cm. So in order to make things easier for an experiment, my advice is take a marker and a wet wipe to the hall. And what should we do with it? Very simple. Now, later on, you're supposed to adjust the bottom clamp up every 6 cm. So what I will do is I will mark down 6 cm now during my preparation using my meter roll over here, making sure that it's 6 cm here, and I will use my marker to do a marking here. So, Every 6 cm, I will do a marking, 6 cm here. And then I will use my marker and do a marking here. And with that, I will, I will mark out all the different readings. There's a total of 5 gaps, so I will do 5 gaps here. So that later on, as I continue on with my experiment, I just need to follow the gaps that I have drawn here, the marking that I've drawn here, and adjust my bottom clamp. And of course, because I'm using a marker, before you end the entire experiment, use a wet wipe and clean away the markings on this retort stand. Okay? So are you ready? Let's begin the experiment. First of all, let's start, let's check our uh, stopwatch, making sure that it's working correctly. Alright? Okay, we may start the experiment. 